Saturday Social is powered by EA Sports FIFA 23 with PlayStation. It was very good. Something tells me this is going to be even more uh, spicy, shall we mm. say. Uh, two huge fixtures this weekend. It is Derby weekend. You've got the North London Derby, the fixture that separates me and Robbie. And you've got the Manchester Derby as well. Huge. How are you feeling about that one? Some massive rivalries. Uh, um... I'm not overly confident, let's put it that way. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, as you say, huge rivalries. And it got us thinking about rivalries in the office this week. Another big rivalry over the years has been Arsenal and Chelsea. And as we have an Arsenal and a Chelsea guest on the sofa, we thought we'd bring back our popular true or false strand. The rules are very simple. Joe and I will read a series of statements. Now, these are all Arsenal and Chelsea related because we have an Arsenal and Chelsea guest on. If you think the statement is true, hold up the true side of the paddle. If you think it's false, hold up the false side of the paddle. You'll get a minute to debate each topic. First up, true or false, Arsenal are a bigger club than Chelsea. <laughs> Let's reveal how you voted. <laughs> surprise, Shut surprise. Uh, they disagree. Rory, kick us off. Well, it's not true. It was once true, but history is constantly being written. And when Arsenal were bigger than Chelsea, when I was a kid, they were winning <clears> doubles, <throat> they were so much better, and that was non-negotiable. But what's happened since Wayne Bridge stopped Arsenal winning the European Cup, they called them invincible, but Wayne Bridge disagreed, <laughs> played a 1-2 with Crespo, knocked it in, and the rest is history. Chelsea then went on to win Premier League after Premier League, two European Cups, two... A European trophy, which we don't talk about enough. Beating, slapping Arsenal up in Baku. <laughs> Four goals. Beating Arsenal in a European final. Premier League after Premier League. They haven't won a Premier League for two decades. How can they still be bigger? Go on, Robert. They haven't won a Premier League in two decades and we're still bigger than Chelsea. <laughs> right? You could argue that Fulham have more history than Chelsea because of the cottage <laughs> in the corner. That's historic. There's nothing historic about Chelsea. They bought it all. We know that. We know what happened to them last year. I think they should be stripped of those European trophies and the Premier League trophies, what they won, because basically we now know it was bought. Right? <laughs> Arsenal have more history. Simple. All right. Wow. Next one. True or false? Mason Mount is a better player than Martin Erdegaard. Oh. <laughs> Another disagreement, Shark Horror. Robbie, I'll come to you first. Martin Odegaard has been one of the best number 10s um, in the Premier League this season. He's been exceptional. Arsenal captain, Norway captain, ahead of Haaland. He's the, cap the captain. Um, he was an unbelievable talent even at 16. He was bought by Real Madrid. This guy is an unbelievable player. He's only just come into the Premier League. He's still got more to show. But I think he's a better player than Mason Mount, definitely. And Mason Mount has fallen off a cliff, hasn't he, recently? Apart from that one goal he scored in the week, set up by Saka, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Mason Mount, liked, loved and cherished by every manager that can possibly have him. Martin Odegaard launched out by every manager that's had him in the past. Launched out. Mason Mount inspires a team. He is the metronome that keeps Chelsea ticking. His energy is relentless. Good eye for a goal. I don't know what he's not good at as a footballer. Excellent eye for a pass. Excellent eye for a goal. Brilliant in a tackle. Drives teams on. Tenacity, heart, spirit, flair. Has everything. <laughs> Martin Odegaard. Game after game after game for club after club after club. Quality. <laughs> he said tenacity flair really quickly, didn't he? Everyone? That was That's great. This one. Uh, next one, we're, we're enjoying this. We're sticking with the Arsenal Chelsea theme for obvious reasons. Is quite simply, Mikel Arteta will win the league before Graham Potter does. True or false? Ooh. 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 Rory's thinking about Rory's this. Rory's on the fence here. Come on, Rory, Rory. need an answer. Oh, wow. <laughs> come on, then, Rory. We'll come to you first because you're going with the Arsenal man. I think neither are going to win it because I think Man City's dominance is going to be so <laughs> strong. I don't, I don't, <laughs> this isn't about Potter. This is about Arteta not ever winning a league. And I think that the dominance that is being employed by Man City is going to be very, very difficult for anyone to compete with. So it's not that I think Arteta will win it first. I think Potter will finish above Arteta in the league this year. I just don't think either of them can win went the league. True. You went through. I think neither are going to win the league. Wow. OK. I'm going to keep this really short, yeah? OK. The reason why it's going to be true, because Graham Potter won't even make it till the end of the season. He'll be sacked by Chelsea. <laughs> Todd Bowley will sack Graham Potter before, before the end of the season. The Chelsea fans will run him out. They're used to, you know, having everything at the top tier and it's not going to work out for them this season. Potter will get sacked. Arteta will win it before him. Thoughts on that? Mikel Arteta will never win a Premier League title. ATAF, and that's a fact. But he'll have more of a chance of winning it 
than Potter more because of, Potter will be sacked. More of a chance he's not you the same person, though, is it? Can, they, can, Arsenal, can Arsenal ever win the Premier League it. under Arteta? The answer why is not? Why not? The the top of the league like, at the moment, Partly because we? of Man City, partly because of Liverpool and partly because of the ineptitude of Mikel Arteta. Not because of Chelsea. Wow. It's a three-way pie. Po- do you think Potter will last all the end of the season? No. <laughs> you don't no, no, I do, of course I do. No, I think, wow. of course I do. You're worried. Oh, of course I do. You're worried. You're a worried the, the Chelsea point is, fan Mik- right Mikel now. Mikel Arteta has no chance of winning a Premier League title. You're worried right now. No chance. You are worried. And, and Potter's a good manager, by the way. Yeah. But they'll ruin him. They're going to ruin him, man. He should you never win. You're certain of that. Yeah, they're going to ruin Graham Potter, Chelsea. I love it. The timer went wow. up bad two minutes ago. Yeah, no, yeah. It's so worth it. Just Stop carry on. on air in five minutes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's go to the next one then. It's true or false? Mourinho's 0405 mm. team was better than Wenger's Invincible. <laughs> That's false, man. Come on. <laughs> the last go, Rory. I mean, it's arbitrary, isn't it? Going, going uh, unbeaten. It doesn't mean anything. Also, it's false. They didn't go unbeaten. Wayne Bridge beat them. Went they lost Premier seven League games. Season. They lost seven games. How many games did they draw? In terms of in terms of quantifying the best team, is the easiest way to do this not to simply analyse how many points did that team accrue? Mourinho's team accrued so many more points, so many more points, it won more. I would make a case that the Wenger Invincible team wasn't even Arsenal's best team. The team that won the double was better than the Invincibles. Of course, the Invincibles get spoken about time and time again. Why? It's just because it's a social media thing and it's funny I wonder on social why. media. Because it, was, it wasn't even Arsenal's best team. It doesn't come close to Mourinho's Robin? team. Mourinho's team won more and got they more points. He, he knows. That's why he's trying to, you know, the, all the fans, they sit down, they try to come up with narratives, right? Let me give you the facts. They went a whole... Premier League season without losing a game. It has not been done since. With money thrown at it. And not only did they do that by not losing a game, they did it playing beautiful football. Unlike that Chelsea team that basically parked the bus all season. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, right... Happen. Yeah, Chelsea, Chelsea lost one game. It's so it. arbitrary. Chelsea you can't lost one argue game with it. How's this gold? What Nicholas colours is Anelka. yours? Nicholas Anelka scored a penalty at Man City. Chelsea lost one game you that season. You can't argue one game. It. Did they go and we, one game? We won two one. Trophies. Why did you How lose How many trophies none? did you win that Why did you lose How none? How many trophies did you win? Why did you lose none? Did Chelsea beat no, hold you that on, season? Answer that question. Why did we you lose none? We lost one game because it's, no, it's irrelevant. One game you it's lost... irrelevant. We won Why more, didn't you more lose points, none? More points, more trophies, more goals, less goals conceded. <laughs> Why not? Why didn't you 15 goals conceded. Less goals conceded, more goals scored, more trophies won, more points accrued. Can I ask you Sorry, can I ask you points accrued. Rory, can I ask you their best team. Rory. Any Arsenal team. One trophy, one, one poxy trophy. One Please, before you, before you do that one more, right? Just to shut me up, wouldn't you like to go a whole season unbeaten? It's completely, completely <laughs> irrelevant. <laughs> completely irrelevant. Right, I'd let's rather go. win the quickly, league. Last, I'd rather win the league. league. We've never done one. for two decades. <laughs> True or false? Uh, the last one, we've got to rattle through this one because uh, it's getting a bit hitting. True or false? Didier Drogba was a better big game player than Thierry Henry. Let's start the clock now. You better tell the truth here. Good man. Good man. Good man. You see, I'm on the wall. Big time, big game player, yeah. drug bar. You know, he always turned up in the big games, scored big goals, scored for them in the Champions League final and stuff like that, even though they wanted him out when he first joined. Remember, that was, again, these Chelsea fans. <laughs> when he first joined the Didn't first happen. season, Fake they wanted news. him gone. Didn't is that happen. true? Is that <laughs> true? Fake is that true or false? They wanted false. him gone. I was at Crystal Palace. But we all he know he's the greatest. Celestine Babiaro whipping it but in. Anyway, we all know he's the greatest <laughs> Premier League player of all time, which is Thierry Henry. But <laughs> big game. If on that sole thing, yeah, you possibly, give it to possibly the best player of all time. That's a different debate. Possibly, possibly the best player in the Premier League you of all see? time. Certainly a bottle job for possibly. Arsenal, though. Certainly a <laughs> bottle job. Wasn't a bottle job. No, no, no. He weren't a bottle job. Freddie Lung, Freddie Lung, Freddie Lung, a big game player than Thierry Henry. So you're Freddie Lung, you're Lung, putting Thierry Henry a bottle job for Arsenal. Do you remember Paris? They would have won a, a European bottle, Cup before We were down Chelsea. to 10 men. Remember Paris? When we he went down to goal, 10 what men. happened? Wow. He, had to leave. he left them to win a European Cup. Listen, <laughs> Their best player. Sl- as I like said. He, they're, they're, he slung his hook to win a European Cup. People out there, remember well. what he said about Haaland. He's like, oh, I can't win a European <laughs> Cup. Henry, I'm getting out of here. I'm going to go somewhere it's a bit easier. He's stacking he up against this guy. He didn't drop a stayed at Chelsea and fought for a European Cup. Okay, this is absolute carnage, this show. We've got to go. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Thank you. I want to hit him with this, you know. 